Ladies and gents, hello. Welcome. Remember, each event is preceded by prophecy. Without the hero, there is no event. In the waning years of the Third Area of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. The chat is indeed still in the middle. Shall I move it? No. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What is our name? What is a like look, if you've never played Morrowind before, I'm a millennial, alright? This is an RPG from my era. So all of you Zoomers, be prepared to see a real video game. This is like a proper, proper game. You know, you guys, you have no idea what you're in for. A leveling system that nobody understands at all. A plot incomprehensible to most people who even try to pay attention to it. A combat system that's just a bit of a joke, really. But then, really deep magic. That kind of stuff. Uh, so what are we going to call ourselves? Guys, welcome. I am... Okay, so very important notice, first of all. I'm going to try and get streaming consistent. I'm going to try and stream on Saturdays at 7 o'clock and Sundays at 4 o'clock. And in order to make that easier to remember, I've made a little little poem that you can remember. Little ditty, little earworm, if you will, that will remind you of the times that I'm streaming. So I'm going to stream at Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4. And this is the little poem that I came up with. Ready? Saturday at 7 but Sunday at four. There you go. Perfect little poem. It, it doesn't need to rhyme. I learned that in, in school. I learned poems don't need to rhyme, but I think that is a banging poem. Perfect. 100% perfect. What are we going to call ourselves? What's our name? A lot of you are saying Giga Chad for some reason. I, I think Giga Chad's, we're, we're reaching too much there. We're expecting too much. Are you winning, Josh? Mate, let's be real. We're, uh, we're playing Morrowind at four o'clock on a Sunday. I think we're winning. How do I make friends to play Dungeons and Dragons with? Ah, you've got that the wrong way around. You need to go to Dungeons and Dragons groups, find out who's playing them, then become friends with those people. Big Chungus, people are saying. We might just call him like Jim, like Bob. Maybe Twitch chat. I think, I think this is the, because we've done Oblivion. We've done Skyrim. This is Twitch chat the third. I believe. Is this Twitch chat the third? I think this is Twitch chat the third. Rufus 2. No, no. Oh, Dragon Age. So that was Twitch chat the first, which means this is Twitch chat the fourth, because we've done Dragon Age, Oblivion, Skyrim, and this is the fourth. Twitch chat the fourth. That's his name. Did I finally catch the stream of the 70th best League of Angels player? Mop, this is the first thing you've ever said in the chat and you want to get banned. Is that... I don't even know what that game is. I've never played that game. I have no idea who that game is at all. Don't know what we're on about. 360... Hang on, right, let's just... Okay, so I am playing on widescreen mode, which means that things are slightly stretched. You just have to deal with that. Okay? Yes, remember the rhyme to work out the streaming time. Saturday at 7 but Sunday at four. It's a very easy rhyme, I think. And I came up with it all by myself, which I'm very proud of. Now, I am playing with some mods on Morrowind. I'm playing with the widescreen mod, and I'm playing with the graphical extender mod. I'm also playing with the um, easier to read text. So voices, a bit louder. Footsteps and music will have slightly lower. Master in general can go to there. So I want you guys to be able to hear the NPCs. So I've also remapped it so jump is space and activate is E. Now if you played Morrowind, it might look a little bit different to what you remember. 
because normally in the vanilla game you pretty much can't see any of the distant land the skybox is totally different the clouds aren't there you can't see anywhere near as far but i've uh, i've pretty much modded this it's only two graphical mods i've only got the extended morrowind i am playing van i'm playing the vanilla client with the extended graphics to it that's what i'm doing now full disclosure i've I have finished Morrowind as a kid. In fact, I've got this vivid memory. I used to have a laptop, really old laptop, and I would sit on my bed, on my laptop, playing Morrowind, and it would play it like a PowerPoint. Honestly, I'd see one frame every second or so, because it was just chugging along. And I managed to beat Blood Moon, which is the expansion where you go to like the, the snow-ravaged lands, and that snow just completely tanked my FPS. I had to play almost all of Blood Moon looking down, at the floor so I didn't see any of the snow because it would just tank my FPS. So I have finished this, but my god I cannot remember. What do, what do we be guys? What do, now the first time I played this through as a kid, I played as a red guard. And I really enjoyed playing through as a red guard because you got some... You got resist disease and resist poison which was fantastic. Like that was good. That was decent. That was a nice little, little boost but... What else? Remember the leveling in Morrowind is so broken because you get to choose major skills, minor skills, and then random other skills. And every time you've leveled, I think it's like 10 of your major or minor skills, or you've gained 10 levels in them totally, that's when you level up. But you're only able to put skill points into certain skills that you have leveled up. Basically, the best way to play Morrowind is to choose the major and minor skills that you're never ever going to use and then level everything else up but only level those random crap skills when you actually want to gain a level it's a broken system and i will at some point try and explain it in a video but we've got the argonians also you can't just click on the head and spin it left and right you have to click the little scroll thing here which spins it round. so there's going to be look if you're a if you're a young, hip, hop, happening kind of Gen Z kid, Fortnite, you know, iPad baby, you are going to look at this game and think that looks crusty. And you're not wrong. You have to remember that to, to millennial gamers like me, this is very much a... Um, we still see this as new. I bought Morrowind from a shop. I bought it in the box with all of the discs and had to install it on a PC with a disk drive. And some of you were going, that's, that's fine, that's, that's not, not a problem plus. Oh, beast of beast, you're young, you're 31. Oh, beast of beast, do you want to hear a terrible, terrible, terrible thing? Did you ever play Dawn of War? You know, the Warhammer 40k real-time strategy game, Dawn of War. Dawn of War is 20 years old. Dawn of War is two decades old. Dawn of War has graduated college. I'm sorry, but that's just true. Right, what are we playing? Everyone stop distracting me. What are we playing? Sunday is meant to be a chilled, calm stream where we actually make some progress into the game. We've been streaming for 15 minutes. I'm still just looking at the side of a Dark Elf's head. Right, this isn't going to work. No, it's not. It is. It came out in 2004. You can Google that. It's 2024 right now, man. It really is. All right, cool. What are we doing? Um, are we playing Imperial because of the, the bowl cut somewhere? So let's see, Voice of the Emperor, Charm, 25 to 50 points, Star of the West, Absorb Fatigue. There is, it just plays a cat, there is a kind of meta if you want to speedrun the game, but we are not speedrunning the game. See, I'm, water breathing might be useful. Play as a cat. Could you, I mean, that's, look, the, the level of furry that Morrowind lets you be is not exactly, it's not Saber Spark levels, is it? I mean, look at it. No one's looking at that and going, oh, fantastic. Someone someone spent 50 grand on a custom animation of that. No one's doing that. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm turning to dust now. You are. Being Argonian, I love being <laughs> an evolutionary cuddle. Okay. Okay. We could do that. Resist disease is not important since potions are so common. Argonian, so we can disappoint. Josh, you will never beat the furry allegations. Just give it up. Look. All right. As long as Saber Spark exists, he is the line in the sand between me and you. Between me and them. And I will firmly stand behind that line. As soon as he quits YouTube, if he ever does, oh my god, then I'm in trouble. Nobody wants the wood elf. That's true. Down there at the bottom. Look at you. Resist disease and beast tongue. No one needs that. I am still tempted to go for the red guard again. For the adrenaline rush, which is a really, really good ability. But maybe I should be a basic... Okay, fine. We will be an Argonian. 
Resist disease, immune to poison, water breathing. Two minutes worth of water breathing. That's decent. Unless there's, like, anything else that we can get that's incredibly good. Sanctuary, resist fire. High elf is weak to everything, so you're just completely useless. Khajiit, hang on, night eye, eye of fear. Nords are immune to frost, which is just always good. Maybe it'd be a good old Nord boy. You know what, you're all going to be mad at me unless I play as an Argonian, aren't you? So we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do the lizard stuff. I cannot. I absolutely... It's not... Someone's like, that's still furry. Actually, it's scaly. So, not that I am, but if we're going to go with those allegations anyway, let me just gently lead those to a different way. Right, we'll go with scaly. Skill bonus, alchemy. Athletics, illusion, medium armor, mysticism, spear, and unarmored. You don't really want medium armor for anything, because medium armor sucks. Like, in general. Hang on. We are RPing as the lusty Argonian maid. I'm not against the idea. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe she was the Nereva. All right, I'm thinking maybe we do need to roleplay Finishing Morrowind as the lusty Hargonian maid and make choices that she would make because she's the one that has the stories written about her. Excellent. I mean, we are going to use a spear and she does know how to handle a spear. I have read the book. Okay, fine. Now we're on board. Now everyone's like, all right, cool. Roleplay. We're doing it. This is it. I've never read the lusty Hargonian maid. Mate, you're about to see it acted out live in the game fine change hair can you change the hair okay i'd never thought i was gonna say this but what is the lustiest argonian hairstyle like a, a thong a tiny little head thong or are we talking maybe some feathers going on there i quite like these things these little dangly medallion things down the side the braids he's saying the braids for it Everyone else is like, we can't see it. Oh, hang on, there's some chain mail going on back there. The bra- oh, the braids are also there. No, I think we're sticking with these little hanging down dangly things. I'm going with that. Okay. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. I will fit I'll right in, mate. The office and they'll finish your release. Or it'll fit right in. Oh, lusty Argonian maid jokes are going to come at you thick and fast. Like something else. Oh, second joke already. My God, this playthrough is going to be perfect.